Okay, so today in the Venom Workshop, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is, if you have two chains like this, these are both 420 chain, or 428 chains, they're both identical. Um, just one's a different manufacturer, so one's a little different color. But now, what I wanna do is, I wanna take a couple links out of this chain, put them onto this chain. Um, and a lot of people say, well, I'll just go with the master links, go with the master links. Yes, you technically could go with the master links and do it that way, but that's not the way it's supposed to be done. You don't really want to um, have um, two or three freaking master links in, in your chain there because the structure or uh, the stability of your chain just wouldn't work. If it was going to be like that, why wouldn't they just make them all master links, right? So. What we're going to do is say I want to take four links out of this. I need four. So it'd be one, two, three, and four. So I'd stop right here. You're going to need a chain break. And what you're going to do is you're just going to put your chain in there. You're going to line it up with the hole just like that. And then you're going to put this down over the top like that. And I'm going to tighten that because I don't want it to loosen up while I'm pushing the pin through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my, well, I'm not even down on it yet. So I've got a little pinch on it. And then we're slowly just going to start to turn it like this. Technically, if you're doing this right and everything's working correctly, it should be pushing the pin just like that out of that link. So it'll just look just like this. And we can loosen this off. We can pull our pin up. Oops. There we go. Put our chain break off to the side and then we separate and we have our four links so now i can put this four links whole chain out of the way, uh, on this chain now on this chain all i have to do now is find the master link which is right here i didn't clean that very well but it's right here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to snap that off Now to take a master link off is not difficult. All I usually do is link the chain so it can't move and then push the master link back with a screwdriver like that and it'll pop off. And then you take off the plate, take the two pins out like that and that's it. Now with my chain link here, I can put this chain link on here so i'm going to put that on there like that and then i'm going to put my pin back through and then i'm going to smash the end so it it uh bevels out so i'm going <clears> to <throat> i'm going to get my uh my vice over here and uh i'll show you how to do that next okay so i got my chain i'm just going to bring it over with my pin So here are my links that I'm going to be putting together. So all I have to do is the pin side that I took out when I, I pushed out should be opened up. Yeah, so I can just tap that in. So I'm going to put that there.
just have to line up the bottom hole. Now it went all the way through, and that's what I want. I'm gonna check the other side, because I wanna make sure it's flush and in the right place. And then it should tap all the way in. Like that. Now, when it taps all the way in, I want you to drive it down, then use the end of a ball peen hammer and mushroom it out. Like that. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna make sure my link is nice down, nice and tight. And then I can mush mushroom the head of that. There we go. And that's mushroom. And my link is perfect. It works perfect. Tip is mushroom. Tip is mushroom. So it won't come apart. So now when we go back over to our other side here. That. Okay, so now you'll see that I've taken and I've added two links and you can see the links that I've added because they're a darker color and that's not going anywhere and that's not going anywhere. So now I basically added the four links to the chain that I needed. So now I can get my master. Like that. that on like that this one here actually I'm gonna have to see see how it's bent up like that so I'm gonna hammer that down first because that's not gonna go together unless it's flush there we go that's better So now, just put your pin in, put your pin in, put the plate on. Just like that. And now all I have to do is push my clip into place, like that, and I've lengthened my chain. So I've lengthened now my chain by four. And I, I know people always count just one, two, but that's not how many links there is, actually. You actually have to count the one in between, two. So I've added four links to this chain. So one, two, three, and four. Or actually, sorry. One, two, three, four. So we have all four of our new links combined with our new chain. And now I have more links in my chain. Now, getting by one of these chain breaks is not going to break the bank it's literally i think seven bucks or something like that on ebay or on uh, sorry on amazon oops they're uh, super super cheap uh they're not hard to use and they work usually with all chains they'll work with uh, the 420s 428 the 520 bicycle chains uh sometimes bicycle chains the pin is a little bit smaller but uh you can look for that when you're doing your chain but that right there guys is how do you add links to a chain